This video is going to cover the new study that was published in Science Direct in September of 2025. The study completed early in the year was designed to mimic the current ultra-processed food products that are consumed. It created food mimicking high fructose corn syrup and high fat like seed oils and linoleic acid. The study found that the diet inactivates and whitens brown adipose tissue preventing BAT from being able to lower blood glucose or mediate proper lipid ratios. The study concluded that ultra-processed food causes weight gain creates obesity and causes muscle loss. The elevated inflammatory markers develop insulin resistance, diabetes, and weight loss resistance. The main thing that the study concluded was it inactivates brown fat adipose tissue and causes bat whitening, which is really the underlying cause of the obesity epidemic. You can take a look at these upcoming videos. I'm also going to show you some slides of some upcoming uh, topics that I'm going to cover in some upcoming videos. In particular, I'm going to cover how a low-carb diet is causing more damage than the ultra-processed foods. This is one of the slides in the high-fructose corn syrup that I'm going to cover. I want you to look at it. It reduces testosterone levels. It causes weight gain, insulin resistance. But uh, I'm going to cover this in more detail in a future video. In addition, high fructose corn syrup causes brown adipose uh, tissue dysfunction. This is a summary of the study that I'm going to cover in more detail, but you can go ahead and look this up if you want to uh, read over it before my next video. The main thing to take away from this study is that brown adipose tissue activation is the key to weight loss. This is one of the slides I'm going to cover in more detail showing that the low-carb diet actually causes more damage than uh, the ultra-processed. These are the uh, key inflammatory markers, and I'm going to go in more detail in an upcoming video. A long-term low-carb diet is going to cause irreversible chronic disease. The low-carb diet inactivates brown adipose tissue. A low-carb diet and a high-carb diet have a greater mortality risk than a uh, moderate carbohydrate intake. Low glucose spikes and low insulin response does not activate brown adipose tissue. I'm going to show you a couple of slides from the uh, inflammatory marker so you can see what's coming up in upcoming videos. The low-carb medical community simply overlooked that they were inactivating one of the body's most important organs to prevent obesity and gaining weight. Here's a sample of FGF2 and IP10, which are two of the uh, inflammatory markers that low-carb diets uh, stimulate. This is the reason why when low-carb dieters kind of steer off of their diet just a little bit, they can gain easily 8 to 10 pounds in just a few days. I recommend you to watch this video on blood glucose spikes uh, and insulin resistance. It also covers uh, about the low-carb diet. Uh, also, this uh, sugar diet response with uh, Thomas DeLauer and Sean O'Mara, uh, I cover the same information in there, but more detailed. These are three physicians who promote that blood sugar spikes are healthy. I show you in my videos the difference between someone who's insulin resistant, blood sugar spike, and someone who has brown adipose tissue activated. 